there's a reason why I'm looking like this. I've only got like part of my base makeup done and my eyebrows. But yeah, there's a reason why I'm looking like this. So today, got a parcel. Well, I didn't get it. My mum got it for me, which was kind of a surprise. So, I got this very, very big beauty bay bar. From the looks of this, you would think that she ordered the entire website, but that's not the case. So on Friday, she texted me and sent me a screenshot of an order confirmation. She has only gone and ordered me the Bloodlust palette and the lipstick collection, which I mean, I'm so grateful for because I wasn't expecting it. I, like, it was honestly such a struggle trying to not buy the palette for myself. So I'm so grateful. I'm trying to be more responsible with money. So that's why I didn't order it for myself. And I'm so grateful that she's ordered it for me. And she said it's like a gift for Easter since they've paid for my sister to go away with the school. So, I mean, I'm really grateful. Like I didn't expect anything. At Easter, we usually just get like chocolate Easter eggs, just a couple of those. So yeah, I'm really grateful to have got this. And I'm honestly so excited. So inside this absolutely giant box is another box. Honestly, like it kind of stresses me out the way this has been packaged. So there's box one. Okay, I can't take it out, but there's literally like another box inside the first one. Like, I don't know how well you can see. Yeah, so this is a box within a box that had another box in it. Under all of this, the paper. There's a lot of paper, like a lot. Underneath all that paper is the lipstick collection. I'm absolutely obsessed with these colours, like they are absolutely stunning. This is what the inside looks like. They're honestly absolutely stunning. I've got the first nude collection and the equality collection. So now I've got the Queen Bitch collection. So in this little box that we took out, there's a lot of bubble wrap. I got these stickers and I don't know why, but I like them. I can stick them on my laptop. Um, they're quite cool. They're just different like beauty base stickers and some of them are holographic. They look really cute. But these usually come with the Beauty Bay palettes and I think some of their skincare. So I don't know why I call these, but I'm grateful. I can stick them on my laptop. They look cool. And now this is the thing that we've all been waiting for. Oh my God, we got the Bloodlust palette. As you can see, it's a hexagon, I think. Hexagon packaging. The detail to the packaging is just amazing. The crown is so cool. I love all the blood drips on there as well. And then we got all this detailing on the outside and in like this gold thing. And it just looks very like luxurious. And this is just the outside packaging. This is the unicorn. So I can't wait to open the inside. I love the detail to the Jeffree Star logo on the back as well with the like Sort of serpent wrapped around it i think i think that's what they called it anyway the thing that kind of annoyed me with the packaging was i feel like it's a lot of wasteful packaging and i feel like i could do with a lot less but at the same time i do understand that it's an expensive product and like they want to make sure you don't get a broken one so i kind of get that side of it but at the same time i feel like there was a lot of wasteful packaging as well i see both sides of it also that's not included in this video i've ordered two of the bloodlust glosses so they should be here tomorrow so if they are here before i finished editing then i'll add them in at the end like i'll show some swatches and that because i've been loving glosses recently so they'll be my first jeffree star glosses so it'll be nice to see how i like them compared to other ones so the palette retails for 54 pound on beauty bay 
and the lipstick collection is £45 and then the gloss is uh, £16. It's not too bad in price. I feel like that's around the ballpark of how much his palettes cost. So here we have the Bloodlust palette. I absolutely love it. The colour of it is stunning and like I just love the writing. I love like the crown detail, the gold detail around the edge. Like it just all looks very luxurious and like very expensive. This is the inside and oh my god how beautiful is that? Like, I just love the crushed velvet and the colour. I love the Jeffree Star logo. Like the detail is absolutely amazing. It's this absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful crushed velvet. And we've got the Jeffree Star logo inside the crown. And it's so reflective. I absolutely love it. Like honestly, this looks like it costs more than, was it £54? Yeah. And then obviously on the back we've got all the details of the of the product and stuff. Now let's just show you the inside of the palette. So we have the plastic sheet. There is one shade that isn't glued in straight and it kind of really annoys me but I can deal with it. So this is the inside of the palette. Um, I think this is absolutely stunning and he said there's a new formula in here as well which I'm excited to try so as you can see there's like a teal colour like a bluey periwinkle sort of shade and then there's like a red a couple of pinks and then a few purples as well and a lot of people had problems with this palette with the shades not being like a royal purple and stuff like that but Jeffrey did say that it's difficult to make vegan purple shades the red shade is the one that isn't stuck in properly I don't know how well I'll be able to show you but I don't know how well you can see that but it's kind of stuck in wonky and it kind of bugs me a little bit but I can deal with it, it's fine. But I'll do some shots on my phone as well so you can see how shiny they are and stuff. So I'm gonna go in and swatch the shades now. So I'm just gonna work my way up from the top and keep going down like this until I've swatched them all. Starting off with the shade Your Majesty. Moving on to Take the Crown. Then we've got Devinked. Then there's Beauty Sleep. And we've got Wet Jewel. Like I keep saying, it just looks wet. Then we've got another matte in Royal Pain. Then we've got Dungeon. Okay, now we've got a Scandal Water. Okay, now we've got Sworn Enemy. Now we've got it's in Pink Magic. Okay, now on to Bleeding Heart. Okay, now we've got Executioner. Now we've got Hiking. Okay, that one didn't swatch too great. Uh, now we've got in Vivid Mood. Now we've got Mon Monarchy. Blood Queen. Lastly, we have Betrayal. So 
bottoms are all the same. So I just finished doing the swatches, done the swatches ready for the lip bundle as well. And my hands are stained. The bleeding heart stained really bad. The black shade stained as well. And um, there was one thing that I was kind of worried about and it's kind of like happened. Yeah, so the base of this isn't that sort of laminated cardboard stuff that's easy to wipe down. It's more of a like actual fabric. So when you're swatching and using them on that, the product again on the purple stuff on the background and then it's kind of difficult to wipe off. Now I'm going to show you the lip bundle. These are the shades. We've got Royal Armour. I'm vulgar. I'm royalty. I've already got this shade in the mini. We've got Scorpio. Then we've got Virginity. Then we've got Blow Pony. Now we've got Clout. Finally, we've got Berries on Ice. My fingers are a little bit stained from the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go in and swatch the lip bundle. Royal Armour. I'd say more of a topper. I'm vulgar. I'm royalty. Scorpio. Virginity. Blow pony. Cloud. Berries on ice. I'm really intrigued by the first shade because it's a lot more sheer than what I actually expected. And there's a lot more wearable shades than what I thought. These are the entire swatches for the Queen Bitch bundle. So I'm glad I've got another bundle to add to my collection. I'll do two different eye looks and then obviously I'm going to use a lip product. I thought it would be fitting for me to use my Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Pig Mirror. This is my absolute favourite thing ever. This was the first Jeffree Star mirror I ever purchased and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like, how cute is this? The other day, I actually bought the Morphe and Jeffree Star brush collection because I was kind of desperate for new brushes. I got some brushes. I say, I say I was desperate for new brushes, but it kind of turns out I just needed to wash my old ones. It would be fit in to use my Jeffree Star highlighter. This is the Skin Frost in Ice Cold and I've had this for a long time now so it's kind of looking a little bit gross. My lips are feeling quite dry so I'm gonna just use my Flow Lip Scrub in Cherry Soda. This is one of my favourite flavours. And the other one I've got is chocolate dipped strawberries. And this is 100% edible as well, so you know what, just... Why not? I got a on lip balm. So you don't get crusty ass lips. So I'm just starting off with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. It doesn't want to show you, but it's in the shade Create. I'm probably going to struggle to stay in frame, so I apologise in advance. The first shade I'm going to go in with is, let's try Vivid Mood. Okay, that's a really cool shade. I probably should have gone in with the Viant first, let's try... I'm gonna go back in with Vivid Mood just to build up. Let's try hiking. Coming in with Blood Queen. As you can see, I'm starting with like the lighter shades and building it up to the darker shades. There's a little bit of fallout, but I'm not too worried. I'm gonna do a cut crease. The way I draw cut creases, I print it along the bottom of my eyelid and then look up. Okay, that is gorgeous. 
there we go it's just so sparkly and oh my god I'm just going with my skin frost to highlight my inner corners this is very like wearable I feel like you could still tone it down even more but I like how this is how this is all turned out so I'm gonna just go and pop on some lashes and maybe do some eyeliner who knows so now I'm gonna move on to eye number two as you can see I've done liner lashes on this one so now I'm just gonna move on to this one and like I said I'm gonna do a more dramatic look and obviously I based this side off of the purples this side I want to try and incorporate some of the other shades this is literally what I do when I get a new palette I just sit down and I don't really worry about planning out like the perfect look I just sit down and try to experiment with as many shades as possible trying to figure out the formula and like how to best work with specific shades I'm just gonna go in with Wild Serpent I'm just gonna like go fully in I just realised I wanted to use a deeper shade like on the outer corner here but I there wasn't one and I just realised that there was the shade Dungeon which was like a deep on the purple so I could have used that so I have to keep that in mind I feel like this I can't remember but I think this shade swatched quite bad but it's applying like perfectly fine to the eye so I'm going in with a bleeding heart oh wait I forgot this was a shimmer okay no I'm gonna I'm gonna take that back before I can't fix it what am I gonna do? Let's go in with Blood Queen. It's the shade we went in on this side, the deeper shade we done on this side. And then I'm gonna darken it on this side with Dungeon, the plummy purple shade. Okay, that colour combo is really pretty. I really don't know where this eye look is going, but I'm trying my best. Do you know what? I'm gonna get rid of that red. I'm just gonna fully go over it because I kind of hate it. I'm gonna go in with Execution on the Glittery Black. Just overall that. Okay, it's definitely Fallout with this one, but that's to, ex that's to be expected with a pigmented black. I'm going with a bit of pink magic is some of the shimmer we put on the lid this side so I'm just gonna I'm actually loving where this is going it is very bold very dramatic yeah this fallout and I've just smudged it everywhere lovely stressed so it's very dramatic it kind of looks a bit of a mess right now but I'm gonna go pop on liner and lashes just like this one and I'll come back to do my lip shade so now I've finished both eyes so I know this one like the more dramatic side isn't gonna be to everyone's cup of tea but I just had fun experimenting just going crazy with some of the colours just to see what I could create, see what I could layer and yeah I'm happy with how it turned out and I love how the more natural day to day side turned out so the first one I want to try is Royal Armour and this is the one that I said swatched pretty sheer so I want to see what this one looks like on the lips this one has like hardly any pink on yeah very very sheer and glittery kind of just looks like a gloss without being glossy very wearable like can you just imagine that as like an everyday sort of shade and then bam crazy eye more neutral lip the next one i'm going in with is the second shade i'm vulgar i'm royalty Okay, Scorpio. 
now virginity. I feel like this is a very like 90s shade, like really like pale, pale lip. I feel like this would look absolutely stunning on like really deep, deep skin tones. Low pony. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, look at that shade though. That's literally like my favourite thing ever. Okay, really messy application, but oh my god, I'm absolutely obsessed with this shade. I really want to be brave enough to wear it out of shade like this. This is too nice to just wear indoors and for photos. This one's Cloud. It kind of reminds me of a little bit more toned down version of the shade Shame from the Conspiracy Collection. Berries on ice. Oh, how pretty is that? Okay, once again, the worst possible application ever. I'm gonna apply very so nice and I wanna do royal armor on top. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Just everything. Everything worked so well. So I've finished my makeup and this is how the makeup turned out. Like I said, one really crazy eye, one more toned down day to day eye. And like I said, this isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I like how it turned out. It's very dramatic. It just gives me a chance to play with as many colors as possible. And I love this lip combo. I'm really hoping that the glosses get here soon tomorrow, like early tomorrow, so, so I can include them at the end of this video. My final opinions. This lip bundle I'm obsessed with. Like from the colors when I first saw them, I was like, mm, I don't know how many I'd actually wear on the lip but after trying them out I, I love all of them there's only like one that I possibly wouldn't wear on the lip and I would wear that on the eye instead so I'm absolutely obsessed with this I'm so happy I got it I can finally put it on the shelf with my other collection then the eyeshadow palette the main thing honestly I think this is 100% worth it if you don't like purples, then this palette isn't going to be for you. If you don't like Jeffree Star, this palette isn't going to be for you. So, if you like Jeffree Star and if you like purple, then this palette's for you. And, I mean, I'm not saying you need to go out and buy it, because it is expensive. But if you were, like, really passionate about makeup, if that's what you want to spend your money on, just go and buy it. Well, I mean, I sold out them, but go and buy it when it restocks, because... I mean, like it's just beautiful. Like all the colours I used worked perfect. Some of them didn't swatch as great, but they worked on the eye fine. I know I possibly could have used more colours, but I'm happy with the looks I created. And I just love how it turned out. So, so yeah, overall I really like this palette. I think the thought that has gone into the design of the palette like the packaging, the packaging of the unicarton, I think is 100% worth it. And like the thought and everything that went into this, like the crushed velvet, I expect this to be a lot more expensive than some of his other palettes. Yeah, it was only £54, so that's around the price of his other palettes. I expect it to be a lot more because of the materials used. And the quality of the eyeshadows haven't suffered like it just everything has worked perfectly fine and i'm absolutely obsessed with the new formula with the two shades like honestly some of my favorite shades out of the palette i'm excited to use this palette more and see what else i can create if you want to see what else i create using this palette using other jeff star palettes using just other palettes in general if you just want to see what looks i can create Make sure to follow my Instagram, it's Charles underscore maker. So overall, I think the collection is definitely worth it if that's what you want to spend your money on. Like, I just love everything I've got. I can't wait to try the glosses out. Like I said, they will be my first Jeffree Star glosses and I'm just gutted I couldn't get a highlighter. I wish he would have done it world, worldwide rather than just on his website. I'm so grateful to my mum for ordering them. Like, I really didn't expect it. So thank you for buying them for me. I absolutely love everything I got. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Leave a comment down below, like literally anything. You can say like whether you got the palette, um, 
whether you're gonna buy an next time restocks if you like the looks i created today um any other videos you want to see in the future like just literally anything and uh, make sure to subscribe as well because i mean it really really helps me out my next video i'm filming hopefully if they come on time then the next video i film should be a good one i'm planning on editing this one straight away getting it done to post tomorrow so hopefully i can do it fingers crossed but yeah other than that, uh, thank you for watching so we just got the two glosses and we got the shade this one's sorcery and the purple one is sickening so I've just swatched the two the top one is this one and is sickening and then the bottom one is the pink one in sorcery 